The old school. The best in the world. <laughs> the vans, old school. It went through a lot. What happened to simple shoes? Let me move all this stuff so I don't break it. What happened to this shoe? Alright, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what happened to this shoe? <laughs> what happened to this shoe? We got Gucci, Goyard, Supreme maybe? Probably Supreme. We got Prada on the vans. The Prada, Prada on the vans? It's too much going on. So what I want to do today, what? <laughs> <laughs> so like Tyler Lopez. Great. This is going to be the worst video of all time. So what I want to do guys is I want to just break down some simple, staple, best colorways because it got out of control. We need to tone it down because there's beauty in simplicity. I'm honestly, let's get into the video. What is up YouTube? Jacob here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you can notice the quality is a bit better because I just upgraded my camera. Today we have a video I wanted to make for a very long time and I finally did. But before that, I hope you guys had a really good New Year's. I hope you guys had a good Christmas as well. And today we have my top three old school colorways. And I'm doing an outfit after each one so it's not just like me showing like a picture of an old school. Here's a few of my favorite comments from the last one. And in this one, I want to know what your top three old school colorways are or do you not like them at all? You think they're dead? because let's be honest the old school it went through a lot in 2017 I mean <laughs> they got it kind of became like a meme shoe for a lot of people a lot of people wear them with a the stack denims with the jean shorts you know I think there's a little bit more of an original way to wear them and I think it's such a classic shoe they'll always have a place in my heart coming in at number one we have the pine green I'm not gonna do that anymore. It's the pine green old school. Now, when I was at the store and I was looking at some of the old schools, I kind of overlooked these at the beginning. I've seen these before and they haven't really stood out to me that much. I mean, if you look at them from the right angle with the right lighting, they kind of look like the black pair. I mean, it's a really dark green. There's also an olive pair, by the way. Shout out to the Olive King. The reason I like these is because after I started thinking about them and how I would wear them, I started to think of how in some circumstances they could be better than the black pair. Now, they're just like a normal old school. They're suede, they're canvas. And by the way, in this video, I'm not putting shoes in this list that are more expensive than $55. So there's a lot of old schools out there, but they cost like $70 in weird colorways. I guess I can't really talk too much about these. You guys see how I styled them to see what I'm talking about. So let's just get into the outfit. Uh, this is not organized. For the pants, I decided to wear this light wash pair I have. It's actually a pair of vintage Levi's and they have like paint splatter on them. I don't know if you can see that, but I made them in the summertime and I really like them. And I think the green, you know, it complements the, uh, the navy, am I right? With the bell on these, I threw on this tactical like seat belt belt. I've had this for almost a year now. It's like $30. You don't have to pay designer prices for like these seat buckle belts. I'll try to link it in the description if I can find it. But I think like in general, a black belt on light wash denims looks pretty good. So that's what I have on the pants. On the t-shirt, I decided to throw on this vintage t-shirt with some fighting graphic on it. I think with the light wash denim, it kind of gives off like a cowboy vibe. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it actually goes together pretty well. Finally, I threw on this vest. I went through war for this vest. Tactical oh. nuke incoming! So I don't want you guys to say I look suspicious in it. I mean, it kind of does. I think when you wear this with like all black, it look, you know, you're looking kind of... When you wear it with like light wash or lighter colors, I think you look a little bit less dangerous. So that's how I style them. This is what it looks like all together. Yeah. Fuck these niggas cause they always been extra All these diamonds Let's move on Coming in at number two is a shoe that I've known about But I never really bought It is the blue and black old school Now these shoes for whatever reason when I look at them just remind me of Odd Future I don't know if Tyler wore them that many That much But I've known about these shoes and I was looking at the store And I was really eyeing these shoes Simmons. And I was like, you know what? That's actually one of the best colors. Now, I think the blue and the black just go together really well. You know, blue and black, it's not always the best combination. It can definitely be hit or miss. I think the, the kind of, I don't know what you call this blue, but I think it goes really good with the black. This kind of tonal color and in the heel, toe, and then side works really good. I mean, the Jalen bands look like it. There's some other cool colorways that use this like similar tonal color blocking. I think it works good on this shoe. So, that's the shoe. Let me show you the fit. Now the fit is pretty simple. It's a staple fit because it's a staple shoe. 
I need to die. So on the pants, I threw on the pants I released in last collection in this like kind of tan khaki colorway. I've been wearing these, that's why they're so wrinkly. But I think, you know, it goes pretty good. It got the preschool vibes. I threw a shoelace belt on with these. And then on top, I threw on this hoodie from the Christmas video, the Menace Gun Range Black Hoodie. It's a three-piece fit. It's very simple, but I think it works together pretty good. So this is what it looks like all together. I don't feel no pressure. No. Oh, yeah. Money coming in like I am an investor. Yeah. She tried to take a break, but I already left her. The final two. Last but not least. But it probably is going to disappoint you. Because... It's the meme shoe itself, the black and the white old school. Now, why did I put this on this list? This is on the list because if you've never had an old school before, which I don't know how many people haven't had them by now, but if you haven't, this is the shoe you should get. It's the classic. It's the most wearable. I think you can wear this shoe in almost any way, and that's part of the reason I like it so much. Like two years ago, this was like my favorite shoe. I wore them every day, and I think it just goes good with everything. The thing I love about this shoe is you don't really have to try super hard when you wear it. I mean, some people, they do try really hard, but how I see it, it's a low effort shoe. You can wear this every day with anything, and I think it just looks kind of effortlessly good. Shorts, pants, really nothing to say about this. That's the shoe. I'm going to show you guys how I styled it. I styled it pretty simply. I just threw on these uh, Digi Camel shorts that I made. Now, when I showed these before, I didn't really tailor them or do anything with them. They looked pretty off, but I did tailor them a bit and I think they fit a lot better now. I threw on this vintage t-shirt, the one you guys have seen. I really could have thrown on any shirt with this, but I like that one. And then finally, to complete the middle school look, I have a backpack on. So this is what the fit looks like all together. When I'm in my car, yeah, whoa. Look up at the stars, just like, whoa. No feelings involved, yeah. And yeah, that's my top three old schools. But again, let me know what your top three colors are because I probably got them wrong. But there's a new thing I want to do at the end of my videos. I see a lot of people tagging me in their outfit pictures that they're buying from my brand and they're tagging me and I look at the photos, but I don't really do anything with them. So now at the end of my videos, I want to shout out a few people who uh, tag me in some fits I like. I'm going to do this every video. I'm going to remember and I'm going to do it. So here's a few outfits I liked recently. Yeah. All these diamonds on me, I don't feel no pressure. No. Oh, yeah. Money coming. And yeah, that's the whole video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all super soon. I love you all. My name is Jacob. Peace out, you guys. Take care. Yeah, fuck these niggas, cause they always been extra. All these diamonds on me. I